Well, she's been taking over gospel stages for years with the legendary Clark sisters, and now she is taking over the kitchen with her new cookbook, Cooking with Auntie Jackie. And now she joins us in studio to talk about her new endeavor and give us a personal cooking lesson. We want to welcome Jackie Clark Chisholm to the show. It is <laughs> so exciting to have you. It's Thank exciting you to so have much. you with us. Thank this you is for having awesome. me. I'm so excited about being here today. It is our pleasure. Now, what was the inspiration behind writing this cookbook? Well, I, a lot of it was because I do all the cooking. So in my family, when we have family gatherings, I'm the cook. Okay. So I'm the one who, the go-to person. All right. So my daughter was home one day. She came home um, from t out of town and she came home and she started filming me. And as she was filming me, you know, I kept telling her, quit filming me because my hair was a mess. I looked a mess. <laughs> and I said, quit filming me. And she said, mom, look, look, look. She said, you got, you got 13,000 hits on here. You better. Wow. So after that, I started doing the cooking show on Saturday and I cooked every Saturday. And it just came from there. And from that, people kept asking me, when are you going to do a cookbook? When are you going to do a cookbook? And I was going, I don't, I don't, I'm not going to do that. I'm not, I'm not a chef. I'm just a woman who likes to cook. Okay. And so from that evolved the cookbook. I love this. Now, are these family recipes? Yes, or this is my, this is my your recipes. recipes. Yes. I like this. So yes. now walk us through this recipe okay. that you're sharing with us today. Okay. This is your meatloaf, right? Yes. This is meatloaf. Now today I use, this is beef, but this right here is turkey. Okay. So you can use it interchangeable. It, does, it doesn't matter how you do it. Um, whatever you like, if you want to add more to it, but whatever you want, you add to it. However, what I use is, um, it, so here I'm putting in onions, and then we have a red bell pepper mm -hmm. and then we have uh, before I put that green bell pepper I like both mm -hmm. they can um, add a little color Look they at add that. color mm -hmm. and um, breadcrumbs we li like that some garlic you can't do anything without garlic <laughs> <laughs> and then an egg okay all right so then you mix that and then you mix up. this up and then once you get this mixed up, we're going to add in our seasoning. So we have salt, pepper, garlic salt, uh, garlic pepper, garlic um, uh, seasoning, and uh, four season seasoning. So you know what I say? I said, if you're not seasoned, it ain't seasoned. It ain't seasoned. Yes. That's it right. Lot, it needs flavor. Right. <laughs> I'm a little heavy handed. <laughs> and I am too. Okay. So I try to be careful with that. When you're using seasoning sauce, especially because if you add salt and you're using seasoning uh -huh. salt, it can become over seasoned very quickly. Okay. So then you put this together and you put it in a bag. I usually put it in a, I, I don't use a, a loaf pan. I just use aluminum foil. Okay. You know? And then I, 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 I mold it to the way I want it, put it in the aluminum foil, and then I just kind of tighten it and pull it together. Okay. So, and from that, you get this. this. There you go, <laughs> the magic of TV. Now, how long do you cook yours for so it so, doesn't get dry? So, um, I usually cook it for about maybe an hour, okay. um, depending on how big it is. Mm -hmm. and, and because I'm sweating it in the aluminum foil, ah. so I, about an hour, maybe a little bit more. Mm -hmm. I made some um, mashed potatoes, and we always have mushroom. Um, I have to show this. Yes. We need to get a shot of this. This is your mushroom <laughs> gravy, which looks amazing. And every, I, I wish you guys could smell this it smells fabulous in here so let me ask you this you've inspired so many people through your music yeah. now how are you hoping that you'll inspire people with your cookbook well I think well really and truly the cookbook was fully put together to help people who don't know anything about cooking but want to learn that's basically what I did because in my book you can you get how to set a table you get uh, things on how to season things to season what to season what okay. what meats you put what seasoning on so all of that's in the book it's for people People who really don't know how to cook but want to know how to cook okay and not be afraid of it and everything that I make will only take you maybe 35 45 minutes okay that you can't do better than that you I'm telling cannot. you especially for those people who don't know what they're doing exactly seasonings on the right meats get everything together now how can people learn more and get the cookbook for themselves so you my book is on you can get my book at amazon.com uh -huh. and you can when you get it just look through it first and figure out what you want to try and start from that point I think that um, if you look at it and then if you don't know how to cook it can tell you how to start it tells you exactly what to do so I'm excited about the book you want to get it uh, amazon.com that's right this will make a great 
holiday gift, a it Christmas really gift would. for people who need a little help in the kitchen. <laughs> and you are so sweet and wonderful. You made me one that's gluten free. I did. Isn't that sweet? So, I, and I did. I did do that. So. I appreciate it. So I will be enjoying that later. And we thank you so much for joining thank us you. today. Thank you. Get the cookbook, Cooking with Auntie Jackie.